Friends, today we will understand HTML. Internet is the largest information base and has become a vital part of our lives. Internet has revolutionized the world economy as well as society. Using internet, we can share data and information across the globe instantly. The servers share their data or information resources available on the internet with clients, systems which initiate requests to servers for various services. They rely on servers for files, devices, processing power, etc. The servers store files and information in the form of websites. These websites consist of millions of pages which contain text, graphic, video, audio and link to other web pages via hyperlink. These websites can be accessed by different users around the world by using internet connection. Have you ever wondered what lies behind a web page? Which technology is used as backend to write the web pages? The answer is, we need a language to create websites. HTML is the most widely used language to design web contents for the internet. Let me share the fact that WWW was founded by Tim Berners-Lee. World Wide Web Consortium W3C is the main international standard organization for the World Wide Web abbreviated as www or w3 let us first talk about the history of html ibm sowed the seeds for html in the early 1980s initially it was known as by the name called gml general markup language it was a powerful language that aimed at creating a document in which one could mark the title headings text phone selection and much more in 1986, this concept got standardization by ISO, International Organization for Standardization, and was renamed SGML, Standard Journalized Markup Language. In 1989, Sir Tim Berners-Lee and his team redesigned this language and named it as HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. Students, let me tell you more about HTML5. HTML5 was introduced on January 18, 2011. HTML5 contains features like video playback and drag and drop that have been previously dependent on third-party browser plugins such as Adobe Flash, etc. HTML is a complete code package that allows a user to create web pages. It includes text and graphics. You can add links to your web pages. Hyperlinks are the highlighted text segments or images that connect a page to another pages on the web. Let's analyze the word HTML. Hypertext is the text used to link various web pages. It is the text on a web page, clicking on which opens a new web page. Markup Markup means highlighting the text either by underlining or displaying it in different colors or both. Language refers to the mode of communication between web pages. HTML has its own syntax and rules. Also, HTML is not a case-sensitive language. Let us talk about describing tags. HTML is a tag-based language. A tag is a piece of code which acts as a label that a web browser interprets. It instructs a web browser what to display and how to display. A complete tag having an opening tag and a closing tag is known as element. We use various attributes in the tags that contain additional information like formatting effects, alignment, colors, etc. Okay, let me describe the structure of an HTML document. The standard structure of an HTML document has two sections, head and body, which is shown below. The HTML document starts with bracket in html bracket close tag and ends with bracket in slash html bracket close tag 
Each document is considered to be a single page. Everything is written within these tags. If the commands are not enclosed in tags, then a web browser will assume the commands as simple text. The HTML page is divided into two sections, header, head and the body. Body. The header is where you put information that is important about the web page, but you cannot see it in your browser window. The title tag has to be given within the head tags. It contains the title of the document. The title should be short and less than 64 characters. The title tag changes the text that appears on the top of your browser, but not in the actual viewing pane. The head is the first element contained inside the HTML element. It contains no text within itself. The body tag contains the text which gets displayed on the web page along with other tags and attributes. In the body tag, we use formatting elements, images, heading, list, etc. to enhance the appearance of a web page. Every opening tag must have an ending tag. The closing tag has a forward slash. However, some tags have only an opening tag. Alright, now let us talk about HTML tags. A tag comprises of text enclosed in angle brackets. All tags have their own attributes and default values. Each tag in HTML follows specific rules known as syntax. These tags are not case sensitive. For example, bracket in tag name, bracket close and bracket in in capital letters tag name, bracket close will have the same effect. There are infinite combination of HTML tags or elements which are used for forms, images and list. Everything displayed on a web page requires the use of a tag. The HTML elements can be categorized as container elements, empty elements. Let's talk about container elements. In HTML, the tags that include both on and off tags are called container elements. A tag is opened using opening angle brackets and closed using closing brackets. For example, bracket in HTML bracket close tag has its closing tag which is bracket in slash HTML bracket close and attributes as well. While using tag sets as containers, we should always balance the flow. For example, correct way is tag1, tag2, tag2 and tag1. Incorrect way is tag1, tag2, tag1 and tag2. Now let us talk about empty elements. Empty elements contain only on tags. They do not have off tags. These elements do not enclose any data. Instead, they function on their own. For example, BR tag is an empty tag which breaks a line and displays the text from the next line as shown in the figure. Students, now let us find out how to create an HTML document. To create an HTML document, you can type the text in any word processor like WordPad. Notepad. The extension given to the page is always .html. Let us see how to open and create an HTML document using a notepad. Open notepad by clicking on the start then go to all programs then go to accessories then go to notepad. The notepad window will appear. Type the HTML code as shown in the figure. Click on File, then click on Save Menu option. The Save As dialog box will appear. Select the folder to save the file. Select All Files in Save As type option. Mention the name in File Name text box with an extension .html. Click on the Save button. Students, when you save an HTML file, you can either use .htm or .html extension.
Let us learn how to view an HTML document. To view an HTML file, we need a web browser such as Internet Explorer, Netscape Navigator, Mozilla, Firefox or Google Chrome. Here we are using Internet Explorer as it is a part of Windows. To view your first web page, follow these steps. Click on Start, then go to All Programs menu and choose Internet Explorer option. The Internet Explorer window will appear. Click on File menu of Internet Explorer window and select Open option. The Open dialog box will appear. Click on Browse button to locate the HTML file. A dialog box will appear. Choose the path where you have stored your HTML document and select your file. Click on the Open button in the Open dialog box. Your web page will be shown on the web browser. You can observe that the text given within the title tags is displayed on the title bar of the Internet Explorer window and the text given within the body tags is displayed in the body of the web browser window. Notice the address bar of the Internet Explorer. The complete path of the file name with an extension .html is displayed here. You can also type the path in the address bar instead of choosing it from the open dialog box. Alright students, now let me tell you about attributes. HTML elements can have attributes. An attribute is a property that provides additional information about an HTML element. Attributes are always specified in the opening tag. All attributes consist of two parts, a name and a value. The name is the property you want to set and the value is what you want the value of the property to be set and it is always put within quotation marks. For example, phone size equals to double quote in four double quote close comma color equals to double quote in blue double quote close. Here font size and color are the attributes of the font tag. Students, let us discuss role of attributes in HTML tag. Let's now discuss the types of elements. Container elements. Heading tags. Every document starts with a heading. This tag is used to define different heading levels in the HTML document. There are six heading levels, H1 to H6. H1 heading style displays the text in the largest size and is used for main heading. The text increases to 24 point font size. The lowest level H6 reduces the font size to 8 point size. The lower levels are used for subheadings and less important things. It is not essential to use these headings level in hierarchy. These heading tags are written within the body tags of the document. Paragraph tag. Any text containing more than a few lines should be given inside the paragraph tags. The P tag offers a way to structure the text into different paragraphs. Each paragraph of text should be given between opening P and closing slash P tags. A paragraph can be aligned using the attribute named align. Various attributes of a paragraph element are as follows. Syntax is P starts a new paragraph. Bracket in P align equals to quote in center quote close bracket close aligns the text in center. Bracket in P align equals to quote in right quote close bracket close aligns the text to the right side. Bracket in P align equal to Quote in left, quote close, bracket close, aligns the text to the left side. P align equals to double quote and justify double quote close. Aligns the text evenly between both left and right margins. Students note that a line attribute can also be given with the heading tag, font tag or paragraph tag. Centering content. The center tag is used to align the text to the center of the page or any table cell. 
To center the text type center, opening tag before the text and type slash center, closing tag after the text. Second element is empty elements. Line break tag. Whenever we use the BR tag, anything following this tag breaks the line and displays the text from the next line without giving any space between two lines. It should be given at the end of the line after which a new line is required. Syntax is bracket in BR bracket close. Horizontal lines. Horizontal lines are used as a separator between blocks of text. The HR element draws a horizontal line across the page. Type HR when you want to insert a horizontal line in between the text. We can also specify the size attribute in HR tag to define the thickness of line. In HR tag, type size equals to question mark, replacing question mark with the thickness you want to apply. The size attribute of HR is given values in terms of pixels. A pixel is equal to dividing an inch into 72 points. Syntax HR Now, let us talk about changing the appearance of text. Phone style tags change the appearance of text. They are known as physical markup. Bold tag is used when you want to emphasize the text. Type B before typing the text which you want to display as bold and type bracket in slash bar bracket close after the text. Syntax bracket in B bracket close kips CYL bracket in slash B bracket close. Italic tag. Italic tag is used to divert the attention of the reader on any important information. Italic element is used. This element marks up the text in italic style. Typing the text between I and slash I tags will change the specified text to italics. Syntax I keeps publishing world slash I. Underline tag. Underline tag underlines the text enclosed in U and slash U tags. Syntax bracket in. You bracket close a practicing software to consolidate your learning bracket in slash you bracket close. Let us understand how to change font size, text color, and background. Font is defined as a style of writing text in a document. HTML provides an option to change the font color, size, and style. Using these tags, we can present the text in a beautiful manner. Font face. To change the type face or name of the font, font face element is used. Type font face equals to double quotes before the text. Press the space bar key and then type the name of the font you want to use and close the quotes. For example, font face equals to double quote in copper black, double quote close. Type slash font after applying the font style. HTML Head Title Changing Font Face Slash Title Slash Head Body Font Face Equals to Double Quote in Bookman Old Style Double Quote Close B P Align Equals to Double Quote in Center Double Quote Close The highest reward God gives us for good work is the ability to do better work. Slash P slash font BR slash B P align equals to double quote in center double quote close font face equals to double quote in Verdana double quote close. Work and creativity are what has built nations and organizations, not money. Slash font slash body HTML font size. It is used to change the size of the font. Syntax font size equals to double quote in question mark double quote close. You can specify a font size from 1 to 7 in place of question mark. The smallest font size is 1 and the largest font size is 7. Type font size equals to double quote in 3 double quote close before the text whose size you want to change to 3 points. Type slash font after changing the font size. Students, 
Note that it is optional to enclose the value in double quotes. HTML Head Title Changing font size slash title slash head Body Center Font size equals to double quote in three double quote close. The secret of joy in work is contained in one word B Excellence. Slash B slash font BR BR font face equals to double quote and times new Roman double quote close size equals to five yesterday is gone tomorrow has not yet come we have only today B let us begin slash B slash font slash center slash body slash HTML font color the font color attribute changes the color of the text. The color can be set by specifying the name of the color or by giving color codes. Type font color equals to double quote and question mark double quote close before the text and replace with the name or a color code. RGB value of black hash 0 0 0 0 0 0 0, 0. RGB value of Aqua is hash zero zero f f f f. RGB value of blue is hash zero 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 f f. RGB value of gray is hash eight zero eight zero eight zero. RGB value of green is hash zero zero eight zero zero zero. RGB value of lime is hash zero zero f f zero zero rgb value of maroon is hash eight zero 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 rgb value of olive is hash eight zero eight zero 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 rgb value of purple is hash eight zero 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 eight zero RGB value of red is hash FF0000. RGB value of silver is hash C0, C0, C0. RGB value of white is hash FFF, FFF. RGB value of yellow is hash FFFF00. RGB value of fascia is hash FF00 FF. RGB value of navy is hash 000080. And RGB value of teal is hash 008080. HTML Head Title Changing font color slash title slash head. Body center font size equals to double quote and four double quote close color equals to double quote and red double quote close. Your life will be no better than the plans you make and the actions you take. You are the architect and the builder of your own life, fortune and destiny. Slash font br br font face equals to double quote and times new Roman double quote close size equals to five. Color hash eight zero 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 eight zero. Success is a ladder. You cannot climb with your hands in the pockets. Slash center slash font slash body slash HTML. Let us now discuss the attributes of body elements. Background color. Attribute is used to change the background color of the web page. In the body tag. Type BG color equals to quote in question mark quote close comma replacing quote in question mark quote close with the name or a color code. Syntax bracket in body BG color equals to quote in red quote close bracket close. HTML head title changing appearance slash title slash head. Body BG color equals to double quote and red double quote close. Center P font size equals to six face equals to double quote and impact double quote close. Color equals to double quote and white double quote close. U success slash U slash font slash P P 
font size equals to 5 face equals to double quote in Vardana. Double quote close. Color double quote in Y double quote close. B. There is an artist within each person and everybody has the capacity to find creative genius in themselves. Slash B slash font slash P slash center slash body slash HTML. Alright, now we will talk about top margin and left margin. Top margin attribute is used to set the top margin of a web page. It is given with the body tag with any value such as 60. This will display the text 60 pixels away from the top edge of a page. Body top margin equals to double quote in value double quote close slash body. The value is given in pixels. Left margin attribute is used to set the left margin of a web page. Just like top margin, it is also written in the body tag with any value in pixels. The value accordingly keeps the text away from the left corner of a page. Bracket in body left margin equals to double quote in value, double quote close, bracket close, till bracket in slash body, bracket close. The value is given in pixels. HTML head title creation of god slash title slash head body top margin equals to double quote in 100 double quote close left margin equals to double quote in 100 double quote close background color equals to double quote in blue double quote close p align equals to double quote in justify double quote close b font size equals to double quote in 6 double quote close face equals to double quote in comic sans ms double quote close color equals to double quote in y double quote close progress is the activity of today and the assurance of tomorrow slash font slash b slash p slash body slash html let me give you a tip now. In the same way, we can also set the right margin and bottom margin by using right margin and bottom margin attributes in bracket in, body, bracket close, tag. Let us quickly glance through the key points discussed in this chapter. HTML is the most widely used language to design web contents for the internet. HTML is an improved version of standardized journalized markup language SGML. A tag is a piece of code which acts as a label that a web browser interprets. Tags are of two types, container and empty. An attribute is a property that provides additional information about HTML element. 